we are now getting set for the next contest. Amor Abadarim from Morocco. He is the referee in this 64 kilogram contest between Cesar Villaraga out of Colombia in the red corner and Roniel Iglesias out of Cuba in the blue corner. Iglesias, 23 years old, out of Havana, Cuba. He has a resume as long as my arm. He took bronze at the 2008 Summer Games in Beijing. He took gold at the Aiba World Championships in Milan. He was in 2009. At 2010, he was a Cuban national champion at both the Cuban Olympiad as well as their national championship tournament. This youngster, Roniel Iglesias, has been on the Cuban and the amateur, and the international amateur radar for some time right now. He's a multi-time national champion, Pan American champion in uh, 2011. He was also a participant at the 2011 IEBA World Championships in Baku. So there you have Villaraga out of the red corner in Colombia, Iglesias out of the blue corner from Cuba. Iglesias boxing in the southpaw style. Villaraga, orthodox. Nice right hand jab followed by the left. That was a one two combination by Iglesias. Sticks out that jab, Iglesias. Villaraga going to be looking for that jab all night as Villa. Iglesias tends to throw it often. Nice overhand right by Villaraga. Iglesias stalking like a wraith in there as he throws a right to the body and he's tied up. And Iglesias takes a step back. You see the good confidence level of Iglesias. He stands right where you want to. He's not too far away from his opponent. He's not too close. He's got excellent spatial awareness. And he throws two rights and a left to the body, falls short, and Villaraga comes back with a right of his own. Ripping right to the body, chopping right overhand hook. A second one thrown by Iglesias, and a long straight right by Villaraga down the pipe. Some good head movement now by Villaraga, keeping himself a moving target for Iglesias, who is known to pick his opponents apart. Nice right-left combination, and again, so some good combination punching. Punching in bunches is Roniel Iglesias. There were five spots available in this 64-kilogram weight class to go to London. That means both of these boxers have already earned their ticket to London, as well as one more boxer Whoever wins this 64 kilogram weight class tomorrow, they'll look back to the quarterfinals to see who he beat. And that man will get the fifth spot in London. But right now, the 64 kilogram boxers here in Rio de Janeiro will already be going. Cesar Villaraga and Roniel Iglesias, you see them on your screen in addition to Francisco Vargas and Jamel Herring. You'll be seeing them next. Vargas from Puerto Rico, Herring from the United States of America. All four of them already earned their ticket. And now Iglesias starting to open up, letting his hands go a little more here towards the end of round number one. So some good action through round number one. There's the score, three to two by Iglesias. So Villaraga did a good job keeping this close as both boxers get some good wind and water treatment in their corners. We will be right back with action. You can take a look at some of the replay from round number one as two left chopping hands come thrown by Cesar Villaraga. Iglesias, and notice how Iglesias uses his right foot to stay on the outside of the left lead foot of Villaraga. That's great, great boxing by Iglesias. Three to two, Iglesias after the first.
Okay, folks. Here we are. Round number two underway. It is the 2012 AIBA American Continental Qualifiers here in beautiful Rio de Janeiro. We are in the Maracana Zeno Gymnasium right here in the heart of Rio. It is a beautiful 75 degrees Fahrenheit outside and inside. Things are really heating up. Iglesias and Viraga. A wild right uppercut by Viraga misses. Viraga is going to need to close the distance and get inside the long armed boxing aficionado that is Roniel Iglesias if he wants to score some more points and start to make this a contest that's going his way. Right now, Iglesias looking completely in control. He's up one point, but seemingly in control here as he stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with Viraga in the center of the ring. Notice the footwork of Iglesias. It's so fast, it's so intelligent that he uses his feet to escape harm's way, perhaps even more so than using his hands. His hands do his offensive work, but his feet do his defensive work. Very nicely done. Some good defense, a high guard by Cesar Viraga as he continues to come in. He's gonna eat a lot of punches like that. That's the only way you can do it against a guy like, v uh, like Iglesias. You need to be willing to take a few on the chin to land your own. Nice good body movement by Iglesias. Looks like a young Roy Jones in there using the, uh, the hen pecking style to keep his distance while at the same time getting inside. Left hand by Viraga, doubles it up. Right hand to the body, full short by Viraga. Right hand doubled up by Iglesias. Right left combination, lightning fast combinations by Iglesias. He's really letting his hands go here. With a minute to go in round number two, he stalks Viraga around the ring and Viraga ties up all he could do at this point. The referee issuing a caution to Viraga, looking a little winded, winded and a little befuddled here. Nice lightning right baby hook by Iglesias. Scores to the chin of Viraga. Right, left by Iglesias. A left hook sails over the head of Iglesias. Left hook to the, excuse me, that was like a left uppercut. Right through the guard by Iglesias. And now Iglesias just really having fun with his punching. Viraga needing to do more. He needs to perhaps go to the body and try and slow down Iglesias. He's going to take a few to, he's going to pay the price and take a few punches to go there. But he's really got no choice at this point as Iglesias is just having target practice in there. And now they're trading blows in the center of the ring in the waning moment, moments. Just a few seconds here in round number two as Iglesias using good angles and good body movement to score a decisive victory for the second round. Seven to two, pulled away. He was up one going into the second. He's now up five more from round number two. That gives him a six point lead, 10 to four. Iglesias over Viraga going into the third and final stanza. See some of the action there. as they lock up in the center. Iglesias just doing his work from wherever he wants, in close, out at distance, or in mid-range. Iglesias knows where he is at all times, and he knows what punches to choose to throw, and he knows how to throw them correctly. You see, there's no spatial awareness at Viraga just too far. Both of those punches just not long enough. They say short arms and deep pockets, and that's exactly what Viraga is coming up with here. Round number three, 245 left. Both of these boxers already going to London, plus another who will be decided tomorrow in the finals. Right, left, both full short again. Viraga needs to get inside. He needs to use his feet, keep his hands in his hands up high, elbows in, use his feet to close the gap on Iglesias. 
and then rip shots to the body and just stay on Iglesias like a wet blanket and hope for the best. Nice right hook by Iglesias. Now Iglesias waving Viaraga in. He wants him to step into the danger zone right inside the pocket. Viaraga wise not to accept that invite. Not just like that. He needs to do it on his terms. He needs to push Iglesias onto the ropes and then let his hands go. Good lateral movement by Iglesias now as he turns to the right, again using his feet to set the, the pace and to dictate the rhythm of this contest. You hear chants of Cuba in the crowd. Cuba's got an excellent, excellent history of making world champions, both at the amateur levels and at the pro ranks. Raniel Iglesias, no doubt, has his sights set high. And as we say, he took bronze already in Beijing in 2008 at the Summer Olympics. He wants to better that one for sure in 2012, later this year in London. Just a minute to go here. Viraga from Colombia, Iglesias from Cuba, doing battle in the center of the ring here in Rio de Janeiro. Iglesias pushes with a left hand right through the guard of Viraga. Iglesias, a very busy boxer. He has not stopped throwing his hands. He throws them from all angles. Viraga with a nice counter left there. Wasn't much on it, but shows he's still got some fight left in him. And again, trying to close the distance is Viraga. Iglesias just will not let him, peppering him with shots to the body. He hasn't really hurt Viraga. In Viraga's defense, Iglesias seems to be doing just enough to win, and perhaps then some. But he hasn't really hurt Viraga. He's just scoring points on Viraga, which is the key to this amateur game. Viraga knows that, and he's trying to better his own man. But that is it, folks. Round number three in the books. This one will go to Roniel Iglesias Sotolongo from Cuba. And he looks very confident there in the corner as he gets tended to by his coaches, who no doubt deserve all the kudos as well. They say, what makes a great coach in the amateur ranks and in the pro ranks? The answer, great boxer. Santia uh, Iglesias is a great boxer, for sure. Official result, the winner by points, 14 to 7. The blue corner. That's it, 14 to 7. Roniel Iglesias comes away with the victory. He will move on tomorrow night to face the winner of the next contest, which will be Vargas and Herring. Francisco Vargas from Puerto Rico and Jamel Herring from the United States. And as we see back in round number three, some action from this last contest. Iglesias dictated the pace. He picked his punches better. He landed his punches more frequently. And he scored more points in all. Congratulations to both boxers for getting this far. We look forward to seeing them in London later this year.